Hello students, in this lesson we are going to learn about some new ideas in statistics. Now what do we already know? We know what are known as measures of central tendency, the mean, median and mode. All three quantities in some sense capture where the data is clustering around. Okay? But this is only one aspect to understand a set of observations or data. Another important idea is what is known as a measure of dispersion and that is the extent of scatter or variability in the data. Okay? How much things are away from each other. Okay? So, how do we measure this? Well, let us look at some options. The first one is what is known as range which is simply the maximum minus the minimum value. It is a crude measure of dispersion. Okay? But the big problem is it does not capture what happens between the end values. Okay? What is the next alternative? Well, we can somehow incorporate all the data values okay, in capturing this dispersion. So, we can calculate deviation of each of these from some number and that is what is known as mean deviation or average of deviations. Okay? So, what do we do here? Well, suppose we have x1, x2, x3, etc. till xn and suppose x bar is the mean, then we know that x bar is x1 plus x2 till xn by n. Now, x1 minus x bar is the deviation of x1 from x bar. Now, the important thing is this value could be either positive or negative or even 0 if x1 equals x bar. Now, similarly, x2 minus x bar is the deviation of x2 from x bar. Now, if we do the sum of all the deviations, what we will get is x1 minus x bar plus x2 minus x bar etc. Okay? And this number can be written as x1 plus x2 till xn minus x bar times n which is nx bar. But x1 plus x2 plus x3 till xn from this equation you can see that that is also nx bar. So, you will get nx bar minus nx bar which is simply 0 and this is not of any use at all. Okay? If you are always going to say that the sum of deviations or average of deviations is 0, what is the point in having that measure? And the reason why we are getting 0 here is because some are negative and some are positive. But really we are not interested in capturing the negative aspect. If you get a particular deviation as minus 5, really you are not interested in the minus part. So, therefore, we are actually in need of a way to convert this negative into positive. So, one idea that will help us convert this negative to positive is what is known as the mean deviation about the mean. Okay? Now, how is this defined? Let us see. Okay? As before, if x1, x2, xn are the n observations with mean x bar, then we know that x1 minus x bar is the deviation of x1 from x bar. Now, what we are going to do is mod of x1 minus x bar is the absolute value of the deviation and this is the quantity that we are going to use for mean deviation about mean. Therefore, the mean deviation about mean is defined in the following way. You add all the absolute values mod of x1 minus x bar, mod of x2 minus x bar, etc. and then divide by n to take average. So, this is the mean deviation or MD about mean. Okay? Now, we can also write this as sigma i equals 1 to n. The sigma notation is very important okay? because this keeps coming up in statistics. Right? If you have mod of x i minus x bar, it means i varies from 1 to n. So, x1 minus x bar, x2 minus x bar, etc. This is just a short notation for whatever we have there. Okay? So, this is the MD about mean if the data that we have is x1, x2 till xn. Okay? Now, what if you have a discrete or continuous frequency distribution where you are given x1, x2 till xn and their corresponding frequencies. Then, how would we compute the mean deviation? Well, the first thing is we know that the x bar 
for such a distribution is sigma xi fi by sigma fi. Now, please understand that the small n denotes the number of xi's. Okay? The sigma fi is sometimes denoted by capital N, okay, but we have just retained it as sigma fi in this particular formula. So, this is the x bar, but the question is what is the mean deviation? Well, think about it. Each xi is repeated fi times. Therefore, each xi minus x bar should also be repeated fi times. So, the mean deviation about mean is also going to have a similar looking formula. Okay? So, that is going to be f1 into x1 minus x bar absolute value, f2 into x2 minus x bar absolute value and so on and the denominator is of course f1 plus f2 till fn and this can be written as sigma of i equals 1 to n fi times mod of xi minus x bar divided by sigma fi. Okay? So, this is the mean deviation about mean when you are given a distribution. So far, we have been calculating the sum of deviations or the average of deviations about the mean. Now, we are going to see how to compute mean deviation about any point. Again, if x1, x2 till xn are n observations and a is any number, then the mean deviation about a is going to be defined this way. Okay? Mod of x1 minus a plus mod of x2 minus a and so on till mod of xn minus a the whole by n and we can write this as 1 by n sigma i equals 1 to n mod of xi minus a. Now, clearly if a equals x bar then this quantity is simply the md about mean okay, which we already computed. This is just a more general formula. If a is equal to m which is the median of the data then we get what is known as the mean deviation about median. Now, many people get confused about this terminology because both mean and median are there in one phrase. Okay? So, the important thing is to understand that mean deviation means it is the average of deviations. About the median means you are taking the deviation about the value m. Okay? We are always going to find mean deviation about which point is the question, about mean, median, any point you can calculate the mean deviation. Okay? Usually, md about mean is what is used, but sometimes you can also look at the md about the median. Now, think about it. If you have the md about the median, okay, each of these terms will be x1 minus m, x2 minus m, etc. till xn minus m. Now, one important property of this md about median is that among all the different points that you can take for a, okay, the least value of the mean deviation will occur when you take it about the median. Now, this is something that I am just giving as a statement. One can prove it, but it is a little too involved and not necessary for this level. You can just know this that mean deviation is the least when you take it about the median.